Hi, Karen. How's it going? Great. So, we were wondering if stress affects werewolf symptoms. Right. Well, I've collected some new data that might be able to help us. I've been asking werewolf patients to give me their stress levels on a scale of 1 to 10. I've also been measuring how long each patient's shoulder hair is. Seemed like a pretty good way to figure out how severe their symptoms are. Very clever and gross. What have you discovered? This. I created a scatter plot of stress levels and shoulder hair length. Wow. Exactly. It's pretty clear that the length of werewolf shoulder hair increases with their stress, though their self-reported stress levels. So what does that tell you? Well, it's easy to tell what's going on from the graph, but can we describe this relationship with a statistic somehow? Yes, we can. Ever heard someone say two things are correlated with each other? Sure. Well, we can calculate the correlation for these two variables and report it along with your scatter plot. Oh, that's a pretty strong relationship. Awesome! And I have so many more questions about this data, Steph. Can you show me some other statistical tools, too? Definitely, Karen. Let's dig in. <laughs> 